Hello, Tin Yes. Tom Morrison here from Nashville, Tennessee. I want to jump on here a little bit as we're getting about a month and a half away from Yes 2. Yes, Yes 1 happened like a year and a month ago before COVID hit, and now we're one year from that point, but we're still here today. We got team members that are coming to May, and we're very excited about your arrival there. So I just want to jump back in and recharge and refire your engines to do this, get you fired up about this Metal Treating Institute Yes graduation certificate that you're going to earn and do so much for you in the next eight to nine months as we get towards the graduation in San Antonio, Texas. So we're very excited for that. And I, you know, we're going to reconnect with uh, Cruiser and Hatch with um, and the core group going to be coming along. And so I want you to think back to session one. I want you to get your PowerPoints out and your notes. And I want you to start thinking through. Cruiser and Hatch will not be with us till August in session three. But I want you to go back and revisit the Yes objectives, such as how to build a performing team and how that's working for you. You've been at it a year now with just those notes and those concepts. And have you really implemented and done in those things in an effective way? So how to build high-performing teams? How are you going to be a high-performing leader? That's what sessions two and three are going to be about. How do you do that? And then high-performing strategy to win. And the question is, is are you living out the future picture that Cruiser and Hatch talked with you back in February in 2020? I know COVID really disrupted that process, but how did you come through that? And are you really living the future picture and did you adjust to that well? And actually, too, are you doing the open planning process? How did you use the open planning process during COVID? That was an absolute perfect case study on how do you do open planning? Did you do that with your teams to move through all the challenges that came your way? So open planning. And then the systems you put in place around open planning to then go through the navigate the tough times that you came through. How did you, what system did you put in place? I want you to go back and look at those. And the one big thing that we all get, as they said in uh, session one, time is the enemy. How did you deal with task overload? I know COVID took some, some responsibilities away because we slowed down some, but it actually generated a whole lot of other different things because you have HR issues, COVID issues. When people come into work and want somebody to test positive and all of a sudden they were around 10 of your team members and now those team members are all at home. How did you deal with the time as the enemy and task overload in your operations every single day? So very excited to reconnect with you and fire those engines back up. Um, but session two, May 19th to the 21st in Philly. Yes, we're going to ride up those rocky steps and go take a picture around that statue. Session two is going to really be about you. Most people come thinking it's about emotional intelligence in the workplace, but it's really not. You'll start talking about those things, about how do you deal with your employees. But what it always turns into is a mirror where you're looking at yourself and you really get a chance to dig in deep and find out how can you be a better manager to really motivate people and go from being a boss to a coach where people want to follow you. So I want you to mainly think about two things. I want you to write these down and think about those leading into May. What in your life prevents you from being the leader that you want to be? Is it something in your past? Is it a bad experience? Is it mistrust? What are the things when you look and see how Cruiser and how Dr. Marks talk about what leaders are, what are the things that's keeping you from being the leader that you want to be? And number two, when you look at the people that you're leading in your plants, what in, that, and what in those people gets under your skin? And is it really they getting under your skin or is it about you not really knowing how to deal with it? So we want to connect those dots as we get. So write those two things down and what your thoughts are and come prepared to discuss those. And obviously on day three on that Friday, we're going to talk about personal development. You know, from day one, I've told you that quality of life, your quality of life, if you're not, Dr. Marks is going to say this over and over. If you're not personally fulfilled, you can never truly be professionally fulfilled because it's things that happen at home will eventually play itself out in the workplace. So I'm all about quality of life and the four things that drive quality of life are connected relationships, fulfilling career, financial freedom, and energized health. Those are the four things that I've talked and preached to you since day one. And so I want to ask you, how are you doing in those four areas since we talked about them in session one? We're going to unpack those in session uh, two as we come up in May on day two in small groups and really try and see where we are and what do we need to do to improve those in our quality of life because really your passion is really about making things right for the people around you and serving them. But at the end of the day, you got to also be doing well yourself because here's the thing, you can't give what you don't have. So my real passion for you is maximizing your potential as a human being so that you have everything you can to serve your, your employees and get them to want to do the best they can. So lastly, be on the lookout for a one hour special virtual call that we're going to be doing with Hatch and Cruiser where we're going to reconnect with them and then talk about session one content to reconnect and pull you forward so you don't forget that. That's a vital piece of this component. It's been over a year since you've looked at it, uh, potentially. So we want to reconnect that. So in the next couple of months, we're going to be having that one-hour virtual call. We'll get that information to you. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing y'all in May. And remember, don't just be strong, be MTI strong, yes team. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next call that we'll schedule up here late, uh, probably in late March, early April. Have a great day and we will see you soon, my friends.